All right, how long does the IQ Air machine last once you've paid like a thousand dollars for it? I think I pretty much got the answer. A few weeks ago, this uh, IQ Air machine started acting up, making squeaky sounds and funny sounds off and on. It's been gradually getting worse over the last few weeks, so I would think it's fair to say the motor is starting to go in this thing. And uh, we'll turn it on and let you hear it. Now if you listen, you can hear the, uh, the whining sounds it's making. Terrible. And I've owned this machine now for about, about 10, 11 years. And average, I use it for about 12 hours a day. So from that, you can figure out how many uh, hours that uh, I used it for. And actually, I still have the original uh, main HEPA filter in it. It's 10 years old. I know that's beyond what the manufacturers say you can use it for, but I pre-filter it uh, with this thing going underneath so it, the air going in is mostly clean. And I've inspected it, it looks pretty good. This is my second pre-filter. I'm gonna shut this off now. Listen to it. You get the picture. But anyway, uh, I just installed um, an aftermarket pre-filter a few months back and I was hoping to get you know, more life out of this machine because um, I'm definitely not replacing any filters in this. So basically, even though this main HEPA filter has life in it, and so does this pre-filter I just installed, this thing is, um, is going downhill fast and I don't uh, want to risk a fire or something like that. So uh, pretty much the end of the life of the IQ Air machine. Um, on contrast, this Honeywell machine has been going just as long as if not longer, probably longer. And on medium, it sounds pretty good. High problem, still not bad, but that's kind of uh, common on these things. A lot of them actually in high power would grind right out of the factory. But anyway, it is the, uh, the end of the IQ Air machine. Now I have to answer the question, was it worth it? A thousand dollars for for it? Um, I would have to say, well, if you can afford it, sure, because it does clean the air very well. But just understand, when you buy one of these things, they do not last forever. This is just my unit. Other units are going to be different. But um, this particular unit, I get 10 years out of it. It is not worth getting fixed and sending back because to ship this thing anywhere with this weight um, would cost a lot of money. So now, like I've said in my other video that I made the homemade air cleaner, this is exactly why I don't recommend anyone buy an air cleaner. Instead, make your own with an illicit fan that you just pop onto the filter. Because now, I don't really want to use this much anymore because now I'm stuck with a filter. What am I going to do with this filter? What, do, what am I going to do with this aftermarket filter? I'm certainly not going to buy another unit and I'm not mechanically inclined to try to repair the motor. Um, obviously, they don't put the best quality motors in these things because these illicit fans, uh, I've had illicit fans like this running for 15, 20 years, basically, almost continually. And uh, they're still fine. This one runs fine. I got it used. I've used it for two years, no problems. But I've had other ones running for long periods of time. So that's what happens, you know, when you buy any air cleaner. Um, and it's actually a good thing that I didn't stockpile filters because I've seen them for fairly cheap on eBay, like brand new main HEPA filters, because they retail for about 300 bucks. And the uh, pre-filters are about $100. So I'd seen them and thought, gee, my filter is getting old. Maybe I should stock up on them. It's a good thing I didn't now because I would have these square filters that I can't use. Whereas if I had an air cleaner that had a round filter, you could just do what I've done in my other videos, is pop a bottom plate on the bottom and attach your illicit fan. This filter actually comes with a bottom plate because it's, uh, it's a sealed uh, certified HEPA filter. But so... Is it worth it in the end? Well, I don't know. Um, I, I would say if I could do things different, I wouldn't have bought this thing and would have went to just straight something like this. It's gonna save you money in the long haul. Because if this fan goes, I can just pop another one on, just like in two seconds. 
and there you go you're back in business so there we go the IQ air machine the end of it and something else I was thinking I'm going to open it up and see uh, I have smaller fans than this you listen fans I was thinking maybe if it'll fit uh, pop it take their fan out and pop mine in there and just bypass all the electronics and just have the uh, have the cord coming out make a hole and have the cord coming out and see if I can uh, do something like that but I mean it's probably not it's it's really not worth it because this filter like I say is 10 years old and it's I'd, I'd hope to get another year out of it the way I'm going um, same with this pre-filter but I don't think it's worth the time when I can just pop a fan on so easily like this and um, you can use standard HEPA filters or if you want to get better this is a, an abatement technology certified HEPA filter so everything that goes through is clean and I'll show you the, my particle counter it still is filtering the air and a fair bit of air turn this particle counter on I know this is not the best test but I don't know if you can see because of the lighting but it is still filtering the air the way it's supposed to be yeah so it's still filtering the air the way it's supposed to be but definitely that motor is on its way out okay I hope this helps and just make an informed decision about which air cleaner you buy again I would not recommend IQ Air or any other brand of air cleaner ever again I would only recommend that you make your the homemade one like this very simple to do it will save you money in the long haul and don't have to worry about filtering because you can use any size filter that you want with a reducer okay hope that helps